welcome to the Nerds Who Swing podcast. Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing podcast. My name is Miller. Margo. You can find us everywhere where you would find a normal podcast. Uh, Search Nerds Who Swing on, on Facebook. Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Pinterest. You can find us on SoundCloud. You can find us on YouTube. We are so many places. Or even on iTunes. That's probably where you found this one. And then the most important one is you can find us on Patreon.com, where if you want to just like give us a dollar or two to help like just pay for hosting our website and our podcast. You oh, that would be so nice nice of people i know Can you right? imagine if they did that there might even be bonuses eventually bonuses yeah sexy bonuses no lame bonuses oh you good. could do our taxes lame bonuses <laughs> <laughs> bonuses including that's right <laughs> Uh, and then you can also, we have a, a contest with every episode where if you want to be in our logo. Yeah. Do you see our logo? Can you see it? Pull it up. Do you see our super sexy logo? That's right. Is it me right now? It is right now. It's me right now. <laughs> That's me, folks. Um, but maybe that could be you. That's right. Which would be super hot. Send us your picture. Send us a picture. Any no, one of these. No faces? No faces. No faces. Not that your face isn't yeah. sexy, but you know, like yeah. other sexy business. Also, you know... No penises unless there's also a vagina there. Because who wants a penis? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, just saying. Yeah, as 50% of the vote, I'm not voting for that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. yeah, send us in your pictures if yeah. you if you want to. You could to. be the background of the Nerds Who Swing logo. Can you imagine yeah. your body, your sexy, sexy bod as the background of our logo? Damn, Margo. Mm, so hot. Yeah. Anyway. I like it. Okay, we're Nerds Who Swing. That's right. Margo, Miller, enjoy the episode. Oh, that was recorded? Ooh. I say all my best stuff before <laughs> it's recording! Yeah. I have no idea how funny I am. I know. I edit most of your funny jokes out. I'm sure. <laughs> or I change, like, the octave like, so it sounds like me. Yeah. yeah. like, Miller's delightful. 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 See, you catch yeah. that. Yeah. But two seconds ago, I'm I was I'm just going like, to put that in a loop smart. at the end of the episode. Delightful. Fur. Delightful. 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 Everybody's like, it'll be like when there. Andy <laughs> is on the office and yeah. he starts to cry, and there's like that electric beat of oh. it. Yeah, <laughs> I can't so just sit here and cry. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> they call him like the something baby. I can't remember. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> hmm. All right, we're gonna try something a little different this week. Okay, I don't know what this is. Um, we're gonna. I have an article. Five weird realities of life as a swinger. Okay. I thought we could kind of go through the five weird realities of life as a swinger and see what we think about the article. See if we agree? Yeah. I like it. So this article is from cracks.com, which is actually ah. a site that I like going to. The New York <laughs> Times. Of yeah. The they <laughs> actually have an awesome podcast, the oh. crack.com podcast. It's really good. There you go. And one of my favorite authors is on it a lot, David Wong. Um, but uh, that none of that matters. <laughs> is he the... Spiders? Yeah, so he has two books. Uh, John dies at the end, and this book is full of spiders. Our Wi Fi is called This Wi Fi is Full of Spiders. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Just to keep it all in the. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't write this article, but it's from this website. Oh, okay. So we're promoing him for no reason at all. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Anyways. Hit me. Okay, so number five. Despite the reputation, swinging is a female driven culture. Agree, disagree, Margo. Go. Agreed. Yep. Mostly. Okay. Explain. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, mostly is not the right way, but I, yeah, I, I definitely, I think I mostly agree with that. Female I think driven. It, yeah. In in the sense that the couples who seem to do it successfully, mm-hmm. um, are very aware of what each person is right. cool with, and I will say that I've seen a lot of. There's a lot of deferring to the ladies, sort yeah. of a lot of right. um, permission being asked and whatnot. I think you're right. I think the um, it is like a it is an equal kind of thing, mm-hmm. but definitely I I if I had to pick one of the two, I would say yeah, it's probably female driven. Mm-hmm. Not in a way that like the the ladies are like, you're going to fucking do this and you're going to like it, you oh. fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Not like, like that. Please don't make me. But I yeah, I mean that. Yeah, it's a little more female-driven that the 
woman, ha- I guess. But maybe that's just more of equal, like than that's... it's ever been before. Where it's like, hmm. should we ask the lady's opinion? Yeah, okay. <laughs> or should we just man this up and yeah. just tell them let's what to do? Let's just whip our dicks out yeah. and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, let's yeah, actually true. ask them what they want to do. Right. So, but the reason why I say mostly is because. I feel like that the uh, framing it that way makes it seem like all men want to have sex with all people all the time and all women don't or rarely do. So the men have to ask the permission from the women. Like the women are sort of the gatekeeper of the situation. They don't want to do stuff. Right. Men want to do all the stuff. So the men are like, can we do this stuff? And the women are like, yeah, okay. But that's the only part of it that I don't, Love yeah. because I don't know that that is true I don't, or I don't fair. Know if I agree that, but yeah, agree with that. I but I, 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 I don't know if that's how they mean that. If they just mean that it's more female yeah. driven in the sense that it's not men dragging along these unwilling women right. and forcing them to do things, then a hundred percent, it's yeah. very much no. Because um, I would asking go as women far as for their say, permission before, but yeah. even during, like even if if I'm with somebody else, yeah. I would say all. Yeah, all the other men I've been with have been very like, is this okay? Like all during, right. yeah, yeah, very permission, very mm-hmm. <clears throat> consent oriented. Yeah. So I I would say yes, and it's I would say it's more empowering than yeah. not <laughs> um, for women and stuff. So I, yeah. I I think that's where they're going with it. But if they mean that it's no, I think that's a little all, where they're going. Yeah. I also think that it, they're talking about how women bisexuality is accepted in the lifestyle oh i see you know as well like i think they also mean that a little bit where it's um ladies can be with other ladies and that's 100 percent accepted yeah yeah i would agree with that too sometimes i feel like i get twice as many yeah i get everybody right (laughs) and you just get the ladies, which right. is great. I'm not yeah. saying only, it's all. Awesome. Yeah, you seem to be doing yeah. okay. It's but, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you poor guy. No, but that's true. I yeah. think there is. There's certainly men in the lifestyle who do like being with other men. Yeah, but there are a lot of men who who don't like the the men are straight and the women are bi. I would say. Yeah. That's not the hard and fast rule by any stretch, but that no, is. I because there are that is quite common. I would say that would be the. Majority, but that doesn't mean that the others don't exist because they 100% do. No, and it doesn't mean the others are And it doesn't mean it's bad or, or, or anything at oh, all. No. It just means that's probably most people. It seems to be what we've seen At least mostly. what we've seen, that's yeah, what it's been Yeah, exactly. Like. But that doesn't so, yeah, mean they're just not that coming out and saying too. other things, and yeah. that's okay. They should feel more comfortable to say yeah. that. I just get a little, like, maybe defensive about the idea of men being overly sexual yeah. And women being like under right. sexual. Yeah. Not a word, but I'm Underly, going with it. It's 100% um, a word if you say it. I, I just don't, I don't know that <laughs> yeah. that's really a fair way to put it. Yeah. But I, I in agree. terms of being respectful to women, being, yeah. it, it's not, there's not, force is not part of it, all that kind of yeah. stuff. It, definitely, I would agree with that then. Yeah. yeah. I agree. So you agree with number five. Okay. <laughs> Mostly. That was number Mostly. five? Yeah. You went five to one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what they did, so I'm just following oh, what they Oh, okay, fine, good. That's how their site Correct. works. You Does don't start with the first, no. the best point, and then people oh, will be I like, see. fuck it, I'm not reading down. This is as good as it gets. I see. So they started, that was their worst They don't point. start with, like, their best movie of the year. <laughs> They'd be like, let's find out what my 10th best movie of the year was as we work our way down the I list. I didn't realize it was a top five. I thought it's it was not a top. Five. I don't think it's a top five. This is how their site works. I'm All just right. teasing. Hit me with number four, then. Okay, number four. Swinging magnifies normal relationship drama. I don't think swinging is a band-aid that can fix things. Oh, I don't think that would be a good idea. No. So, I don't know. Don't I, do that. Yeah. <laughs> if something's <laughs> broken in your relationship, don't start swinging. No, so it's not like a fix. Or, or have anything. a baby. So if you have <laughs> other problems, no I think I would agree with if you have jealousy problems or trust problems or communication problems or issues. Yeah, uh, this isn't going to fix it. Then it's not going it. to fix it. it. They say... Magnify? Is that the word that they said? Yeah. I don't know 100%. Does it magnify it? Well, like you're saying, if you, <clears throat> if you start in a monogamous, swing... monogamous relationship, yeah. you have jealousy issues, and then you start swinging, yeah, Yeah, I, I can't imagine those jealousy issues are going to go away. But I guess... But it... I don't even know how you would get to swinging. Like, I'm yeah. jealous of the ladies you work with. Great. Let's go sleep with other people. Like, yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. I don't know how that would work. I guess but... that would magnify. I guess if you got in, like, 
Yeah, you're right, because it feels like you have to jump over a step of Yeah, how would you get to it. that if you had relationship issues, I yeah. guess? I guess unless you were looking at it as a Band-Aid. Oh, yeah, don't do that. No, I agree. So if I don't think there is a Band-Aid. I don't think so either, but I'm just saying, like, I, I in don't. this situation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess if you have issues, anything you're doing that's trying to not, like... Anything you're doing to bypass the fixing of the issues, yeah, it's probably not going to work. I don't. I don't know that that's lifestyle's fault. Like, I don't yeah. think that's a lifestyle related thing. I think so it's, a, it's the it same thing with anything. having a baby. Like, yeah, oh, we're not getting along. Let's have a baby. That'll make everything better. Yeah. No, it won't. Yeah. It super duper won't. <laughs> so, like, let's bone other people. Yeah. I'm not going to make things better. Yeah. Might be fun. Will be fun. Hopefully. <laughs> but not. You know. So I don't yeah. know. I think your relationship's got to be pretty stable before you embark on any life yeah change. I, I agree so yeah i, I guess i agree with it i, I guess, I guess like but it does problems. feel like for that that one point yeah. it feels like you kind of have to uh skip over another point to get there yeah i mean i guess yeah if you're i guess it depends what a problem is too if you're mm. super in love very connected communicating good you like your sex right. life but maybe you find it a little lacking and you want to explore other things if mm. that is what your problem is right. and then you go out and explore the lifestyle and it sort of i guess like air quotes fixes that right. problem then i disagree with that right. because it didn't magnify the problem it kind no, of it did kind of, fix yeah. the problem if that is what if the that problem is. is the problem but if the problem is like i don't trust him he doesn't talk to me he doesn't yeah. value me he doesn't what then no, nothing is going to be a band aid for that yeah. until you rewind and fix all that stuff right. first. Yeah. So, I don't, yeah, kind of, kind of, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to go with kind of, kind of for number four. Okay. 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 Number three. Cool. Most swingers have to stay closeted. <sighs> Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would say. 95%, 99%. I'm I'm wondering if, I'm trying to think if we know anybody who's fully, like... Hmm. Like, out? Not, out? Cl- yeah. Oh, I don't know. No, I, I, I think that's probably true. Um, it's going to depend on your family. You know, are they, is it traditional? Are they religious? Right. Are they whatever, you know, as to... But also, like... If we weren't in the lifestyle, I'm still not going to talk to my your sex dad life is about your, what we is do. Is your sex life? Like you don't talk to family uh, yeah, people like about your sex life. We watched this porn the other day. I bought this new toy. Like yeah. I'm not telling that at the the, the Christmas Thanksgiving dinner. Table. dinner. Like, yeah. So I don't know that it necessarily matters that someone else was in the room while we were using that toy. <laughs> like I don't I don't know if that really yeah. is an issue. So I suppose closeted is the way to put it, but. Uh, some of it is just not areas of your life you divulge with. That's true because there's a difference people. between like coming out and saying the type of sex that you have with <laughs> that you have sex with other people is different mm-hmm. than like like it doesn't. We don't tell people our normal sex like now, so why would we tell them then. if it changes to something different then? Mm-hmm. So but I guess it is closeted in as much as that I don't talk about my sex life at work. Normally, right. so why would I talk about my swinger life at work? Yeah. Or with family but or whoever. But closeted, I'm, I'm thinking they mean more. They're not saying, do you avoid the topic? They're right. saying, like, do you stay hidden? Mm. So do you... Like, actively well, hide like, it? You, do you have a different Facebook profile? Do you have a different email address? Uh, do you have a different... That's, that's true. That's my and thinking is they're And we do do that. That's all the stuff that we do. Exactly. So I guess so we, we do are hide closeted it. in the yeah. sense of, like... Our employers wouldn't know. But again, you're right. Why would they know? Do you let your employer know every time you bone your wife? Yeah. We well, did this position. Have yeah. a good day. Like, you don't yeah, really yeah. do that. Yeah. But, I mean. And swing being a swinger or in the lifestyle does re- require you to be more social in certain areas to try to find people. Mm-hmm. So it is a little bit different, I guess, than being in your own, like, bedroom with your wife. Yeah. So it requires you to have some of those kind of other channels open that you might not want to use your normal email or Facebook or Mm -hmm. whatever profile on whatever website. I'm trying to think. So I feel like work and family is a little bit different because those are areas you're not usually talking about sex anyway. But like 
we do hide it from our vanilla friends. We don't hide that we're like a sexual couple because no, they make jokes about that all the time. They know that we bone. They're just <laughs> like, not. yeah, <laughs> just the whole, yeah. Yeah. There's there's jokes sometimes. But, but so but I bet if we, we told them, they wouldn't be like, <gasps> they'd be like, that tracks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I they don't. It. We have other friends who their friends actually suspect that they might be swingers. Yeah, I don't think we're there. But we, our friends have never, like, I remember at our, at we had a recent game night with some friends. One of our friends made a joke about something about if the keys are all going in the this bowl, then I'm like I'm gonna I'm leaving or something like that. Like joking that we were gonna oh, have a yeah. key party. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's too far for me. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. She was just joking, uh, but and we were like, where's nobody the bowl? was? Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just brought one set of keys. How yeah, does this work? Mean? Yeah, <laughs> but um, like. Nobody was calling us out on it or anything. It was just no, a joke we made because we were totally, all being silly. Yeah. But nobody's actually, like, asked us anything. Like, uh, I guess I don't know, like, we're not being forthright in coming out and telling people that hey, we're this swingers. Is what we did on Saturday. But I also don't expect other people to do that for us. Like, you know what no. I mean? Like, it's not something you, like, why, why should we have to, like, <laughs> with our friends be like, hey, just listen, so you know. I like hockey. Yeah. I like movies. Yeah. Uh, kind of like, sounded like you said boobies. Bo- well, I do like boobies, boobies and I'm in the lifestyle, no. which means we're swingers. Yeah. And also I write books. Yeah. And then they'd be like, okay, I have some questions for these. <laughs> exactly. You leave out one, or, one of, of those when you're talking to people yeah. because people don't, like, they don't need to know. That's Not true. that we're with like, I guess we're withholding information, but it's a question that people don't ask. Yeah. You know, like. That's true. So while our friends Closeted. don't know, we're not trying, like, and we've decided not to tell them, mm-hmm. <laughs> for the most part. Um, it Except also for the hasn't ones come we up. Think might be interested. Yeah, yeah, those that's different. I have we have at least, we have a couple, at least yeah. one at that least, we're like, yeah. mm, I think you're gonna come with us yeah. to the next event because I feel like <laughs> this is your place to be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's true. I think I don't know. Everybody's so different on even just sex talk. Oh, yeah, some people don't want to talk about it at all. Yeah. And some people are all for it, where they're telling you their favorite porn star and yeah. stuff, even though you didn't ask. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, and I think as, as like, a woman who does a lot of chatting with, you know, other moms at yeah. the school and whatnot, sometimes, not all, obviously, but sometimes sex is sort of treated like a, well, it was his birthday kind of yeah. thing. And I'm always like, I don't even know what to say to that. Mm-hmm. I'm sad for everything you just said. Yeah. Too bad for you, too bad for him, too bad for everybody. But also, they're making a joke. Maybe they're... Maybe they're they're like sex dungeon freaks. Maybe they have like... I mean freak in a good way. But like maybe they (laughs) have... I don't know their life. Maybe that is their way of being closeted. Like whatever. And honestly, if like missionary sex once a year is what does it for you, go to town. Totally. Enjoy your once a year. If that's what makes you happy... I am. I don't judge you whatsoever. As yeah. long as you're doing what makes you and your partner happy, I'm with it 100. Yeah. percent But you do hear that thing of like, well, it's our anniversary, so that means, blah. you know, like yeah. that. That's kind of yeah. seems to be the the joke thing, the birthday sex, the, yeah, yeah. The, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, whether that's true or not, it's hard to tell. But it does yeah. seem like lots of people yeah. make that joke, and we don't <laughs> so much that which it is does. exactly why yeah. our vanilla friends are like, ugh. They're screwing all the time. Yeah. And we're like, yippers. <laughs> like, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I need to pop culture pause for a sec. Oh, pop culture pause. Okay, so dungeon. Pop culture pause, yeah. Um, is that what it's called in Fifty Shades of Grey? His red room? Does he call it a red room? Uh, what did he call that room? Yeah, I think okay. it's a red room. Because I'm just thinking of the uh, haunting, of, of Hill haunting of Hill House. Haunting of Hill House. Where they're like the red, red room. room. I didn't put together when we were watching the show that it's like they were both called the red room. Also, that room isn't red. The door The door is, is red. red. Yeah. But I, yeah. So if somebody says red room, for me, I think of like. The Shining, too. The Shining oh, yeah. But room. I think of that Hill House. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah not now. Fifty Shades <laughs> one. Where it's like. I'm trying to remember. If somebody closet. made a red room joke to us, I'd be like. I do not want to go in there. Like, <laughs> whereas if they just said, "Do you want to come you to might, our sex dungeon?" You might I'd be want like, to watch "Yes, I, yeah, let's okay. go." <laughs> yeah, that's true. You had me at sex, yeah. and then you still had me again at dungeon. Yeah, but don't call it a restaurant. <laughs> I was room, there please. the whole time. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, that's true. Interesting. Okay, number two. Oh, two. Okay. We're moving on. Number We're two. We're two. Yeah. Okay. Number two. I can't count. 
Uh, it's hard sometimes. Oh, so hard. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pause for other reasons. Now. Yeah, yeah, we'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, swingers can still be homophobic. Oh, I think they mean uh, uh, dude dudes. homophobic. Uh, not that I have encountered in any way. I agree, but I don't think anybody we've talked to is at all like homophobic in that they would be against it at all oh. or disapproving if it started happening. But I also have not seen it. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Where it's like, I feel like everybody would be welcoming and supportive and would have not a problem with it. But that but doesn't mean that everybody I don't, wants to I haven't play with you seen that it way. At any event. Now, maybe it's just events we've been at. I don't know. Yeah, but because you don't want to play with the dude doesn't make you homophobic. It just makes you not interested in that area of sex for yourself. Right. So I don't know so if it's just a, that. that's a huge difference. Homophobic would be if you were against that. Right. I totally. You are I kind of want to see two guys go at it. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to participate. That's just. No, I just want to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Just to see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was that office thing where it's like. How do they decide which penis which opens penis? up? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I want to. I would watch it, but I. But, but I don't want to be a part of it. But I just mean like unless even it's if Thor, you, then I want to be a part of it. <laughs> get in line, buddy. Yeah. Um, I just mean there is a huge difference between not being interested in experiencing male on male sex, yeah. like you are not. But being super cool with the fact that it exists, so yeah. I think the word of the usage of the word homophobic there is a little dicey. Yeah, because that I makes agree. it sound like I, I like to me homophobic is full of hatred and, yeah. um, I yeah yeah I don't, I, agree. I don't like that at all, and I don't I think, think that that's word... something I would be. I don't think Maybe I can agree a, with yeah. that point, but I, I agree. I think I get what they're where they're going with it. Yeah, homophobic is the wrong word, but I yeah. do think it is. I guess I don't even know what the word is. It's just I I haven't seen it as much. Maybe maybe other people have. Well, we have a friend yeah. who recently, I guess, came, came out, out as, as, uh, as being interested in yeah. uh, all Do, of the lifestyle stuff. Like, yeah. already um, is in the lifestyle yeah. with their yeah. wife. Absolutely. But also, um, but is is also interested men. in being with men. Yeah. And I... It did feel like that was a very difficult thing for him to. It felt like a coming out kind say, of thing, which is awesome for him for doing. So like very great, like just to own what you yeah. want and what you need in yeah. in for fulfillment in your life. Couldn't be happier. Yeah. F- for this person. Yeah. It it felt to me like it. There must have been a struggle right. behind coming to that decision. I don't. I'm not aware of it. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't we're, spoken we're friends, to us but about not, like, that close struggle. With them so I feel badly for him if yeah. he maybe he would be like a hundred percent. That is true. I have felt that there is that that the lifestyle can be homophobic. I yeah. certainly hope not for him, right, or for anybody yeah. because that's awful. Yeah. Um, yeah, I hope what they mean is more just that it's not an area that you see happening as much. Like that yeah. sort of facet I of so pairings too. of who's with who. Yeah. You don't see a lot of that. And I hope that that's what they mean. And then yeah. I agree. But we that, can only speak for our area that we're from. Yeah. And the people we know. Mm-hmm. So hopefully, yeah, it isn't like that. Maybe it is, though. I don't know. I hope in other not. Areas. I feel terrible for. I feel like everybody should be accepted. Why and if is it women cool that I'm cool, with yeah, a lady? Yeah, I was going to say that. Why is it okay if ladies do oh, it but not people dudes? People would throw us a parade. I like, know, it's, as they should. It's, <laughs> but it's so. It's not even just. It's like it's okay. It's no. like it's the best thing that could happen. Yeah. I feel awful for men who aren't allowed to explore yeah. the same thing because that's gross or something. Yeah. I, that's not a word I feel. I'm just. Yeah pulling a word out yeah, of the air. Listen, my like, beard intertwined with Thor's beard <laughs> oh would be <laughs> hot. <laughs> intertwined. Yeah. Like an avatar? Like yeah, they're... exactly. It'd be all like our tails what, mixed together called? and be like, I see you, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, and 
anyway, <laughs> I hope that's yeah. not true because yeah. that feels like it's fueled by hatred and and yeah. unacceptance. And I feel like that is the opposite of everything we've seen in the lifestyle. Yes, I agree. And it would really it would hurt my heart to think I would be kind that, of disappointed in the lifestyle and people in the lifestyle if, if that was, it was true. Actually, like, yeah. So I. Yeah. I I guess my answer to that one is I certainly hope not. Yeah. But if it's true, I mean, I anybody out there, if you have experienced that, like, please let us know. Yeah. Like, you guys, you don't know what you're talking about. It's really bad. I so hope that's not true. That would be yeah. a horrible thing to hear. Absolutely. But you know what? If that's what the truth is, that's what the truth is. So, yeah. It, yeah I just yeah. really hope not because that would, that would break my heart. I think if they heart. swapped out the word homophobic for something else, like, if they swapped it out for something like, you don't see it very often – Less common. Okay. Or something like... Like, the thing you're going like, to see is dude on, couples dude, swapping, yeah. like male-female yeah. couples swapping with other yeah. male-female couples, and ladies all over each other. Yeah. What man you don't really see is, is man on common. man. Then I would be like, But it doesn't right. mean that it's not accepted. If that's... If or that, that it's was treated it, as then bad I'd be like, or Yeah, something. that's true, because I don't see it very often, but I don't think of it as negative or anything. Yeah. It's a positive that everybody... Maybe should, I'm just like, too If you're stuck into it, word. you should go for it. But by using the word homophobic, it does sound like it's a negative. Big time. Yeah. Big time. And I, that would, I, I sincerely hope that that's not true. I agree. Okay, are you ready for number one? I am. This is the best one. Top yeah, five. This is the top movie of the year. <laughs> uh, number one, swinger relationships are not inherently dysfunctional. So they mean it in a way that, like, it's related to the other one in that, like, it's not a fix. Like, okay. That, that, um, that actually the more swingers are in happy relationships than not. So from an outside observer, they're saying they're not dysfunctional. Okay. When you think about it. All right, I see what you're saying. So as an outside person, just because somebody says they're a swinger does not mean they're dysfunctional. Their relationship is broken. They're trying to fix something. That they're not trying to they fix it. They don't love their partner, yeah, but they're like trying to stay married or something. Like you mentioned the baby thing or, or whatever before. It's like it's not a fix to try to like a baby to try to keep you together. Yeah. It's uh and so it's not like that and that most swingers are actually happy or happier together yeah. than the average. Well then yeah. I would agree so with that. that's what I took away from the, their number one thing. Yeah. I don't know if I would say you're happier or less happy than no, a non uh, I don't think it's a non lifestyle relationship. Yeah. But um I yeah, I definitely would say that a swinger relationship is not does not equal yeah. a dysfunctional relationship. No, no way. Yeah. But I wouldn't say it, it equals a functional one either. No, but... Just because but, you play with other people yeah. doesn't make you automatically a good couple or a good relationship no. or... But if you anything, were, like, but, an outside... If you were a vanilla person reading this article and you'd be like, oh, yeah, if you're a swinger, you're obviously trying to yeah, fix something that, that's broken or whatever. That might be the stereotype. But it's not. You're not trying to fix something that's broken. Like No. You're just adding... Yeah. Exactly. And if you're doing it right, you're only adding it as much... And for as long as you both want to. Yeah. If anybody wants to pull the plug anytime, you do. No question. Exactly. Or if anybody wants to change the rules to, in, you know, include less thing, whatever, then you do. Mm-hmm. Because that's the whole point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess I don't love maybe how that point is written. Is but worded, yeah. but yeah. I had yeah. to read into the paragraph to be like, yeah. what did they mean by this? <laughs> but once you read it, you understand it a bit yeah. more. Swing relationships don't equal dysfunctional relationships. Right, from an For outside sure. observer's perspective yeah. on things. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Well, that was five weird realities of life as a swinger okay. on cracked.com. So we agreed in general. Yeah, I think more so in than general, disagreed. more than But disagreed. we needed to talk things out. We did, because <laughs> we there were like, a couple of the points where I would just change the way they were worded. Yes, I agree. Totally. Cool. All right. Well, we might do this from time to time, I think, if we come across an article that is swinger related. Where we can talk I about love it. it. Let's do it. Sometimes if the article is written by like by swingers, yeah. it's almost like, well, obviously I believe with all I agree with all these because that was you're experience. inside the lifestyle yeah. and yeah. But this one was interesting because it was from outside, I believe. Oh, and okay. It just it sounded interesting to read. So if we come across other articles or if other people have other articles that they articles. want us to go through, sure. that'd be awesome. And we will read them. We will. And we'll let you know. That's right. That full of shit. That's right. It's <laughs> <laughs>
SW, you get nerds who swing over nerds who sweat and nerds who swim. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> so suck it. <laughs> yeah, we can start a sister podcast, nerds who sweat <laughs> and swim also. Yeah. Um,